What do you need to get this shot with your guitar? The classic down the neck shot with the camera attached right to the headstock. Well, you actually only need something like this clamp. Very uh, inexpensive item to get. Now they do make different kinds of clamps. This one here has a adjustable ball head, which is great because that means you can adjust it to absolutely uh, any orientation that you want, get any angle that you want, which is great. They also make uh, some that have like a gooseneck, which those will work just fine as well. You just have to consider that if you know if it's very long, you'll really have to you know tilt that tilt that uh, gooseneck down. I'll have this linked in the description. You don't have to buy the exact one I'm showing here. Uh, you know, a lot of them are very similar. And you can also check out the gooseneck style and decide which one is uh, right for you. This clamp is all metal construction, which is great. It has a lot of bite to it. A lot of bite. You really have to, you know, pull that to get that pressure and it. It will stay uh, exactly where you put it. It has rubber pads on it, which of course are on the inside. So that will protect your guitar from getting scratched. I of course wouldn't put this on a guitar. If you happen to have some sort of a boutique guitar with a really soft headstock, you may want to be careful because there's a lot of pressure on this thing. Uh, but you'll be fine with most uh, most guitars. And again, that rubber will keep it from slipping because you got to keep in mind, uh, we will be at you know this vertical or horizontal angle, however you want to think of it, whenever you orient uh, your guitar, and you don't want that slipping, okay? So this kind of a, of a clamp works, works well, and it has the standard uh, quarter inch, which is what you're going to need uh, for anything that has a standard tripod style uh, mount on it. All right, great kind of a clamp to consider whenever you want to get that exact shot. Uh, from there, you might want to purchase an additional ball head because you can actually put these together and then you'll have an extension. It really depends on what kind of camera you're going to use. You can also get other kinds of extensions. Just if your camera has a very low lens on it, you may not be able to get over uh, over your uh, nut there to get the exact shot that you want. What camera would you need? Of course, you need a camera. Well, the GoPro style cameras work well. These small little cameras work very, very well. Uh, they always come with a ton of accessories, or they usually do whatever kind of mount you want, and they'll have a standard tripod mount on them. And also the GoPro style cameras uh, will come with a bunch of, usually, again, or at least you can buy accessories. So something like this here, you could attach to a case. So if we just put the standard case like that, which has the mount, we could directly mount this, of course, to our clip, right? Just screw it on there. And if you find that you want a different, you know, a different angle, if this is not giving you enough rise, over your, you know, for your headstock, depending on how far your headstock tilts back. If this isn't giving you enough rise and you're not able to get the exact, you know, the exact shot that you want, you could just attach some of the, uh, you know, uh, risers in this case, what we're using it for. Just attach that, of course, to the case, and then you'd have a much higher shot that you can work with. From there, of course, you don't have to use the GoPro style cameras, uh, you know, the action or sports cameras. Uh, you could use a cube style camera. Those are always nice. Or you could also use a cell phone. Now, I wouldn't use, you know, if you have an expensive cell phone, I wouldn't use that. Uh, just because, again, we're going to be at an angle here. And you don't want to, you know, you don't want to drop a $900 a phone on the floor. So you can always pick up a cheaper Android phone and get some sort of a clip. And there's a lot of different kinds of cell phone clips uh, out there. A bunch of different kinds. Uh, one of the ones I like best is called ready cam because you can actually screw it down and make sure that it doesn't move. It has uh, you know, rubber rubber uh, in our mounts here, so it will absolutely stay put however you lock it, uh, however you lock it down. But a lot of the other, you know, spring loaded type, they'll work just fine too. And they all have the standard quarter inch mounts on them. So then you can just, of course, mount that to your clip and clip that onto your guitar and you're good to go. Another thing just to keep in mind, if you're, phone if you're going to shoot with your with your phone and your camera is mounted you know offset to a side then you want to make sure you mount it at least you'll probably want to make sure you mount it so the camera is up if the camera is down here you know your shot is going to be right along uh you know right along your nut there and you might not be able to get over that depending again on how how far your headstock uh leans back from there other kind of cameras you could use would of course be a smaller point and shoot cameras um I would not attempt a DSLR or DSLM camera, although this this clamp here does provide enough pressure to actually hold one. I'd be a little concerned about putting a really expensive camera sideways on a guitar, especially when you're spinning around, uh, moving around a lot. But I mean, this thing has a lot of pressure. I, again, I would much prefer to use a smaller camera. 
you know, I wouldn't use, I just wouldn't use a giant DSLR. A DSLM you may get away with since they're lighter. Uh, one thing you may be able to use is a, is a smaller prosumer style uh, camcorder that could work. You know, a great thing about the GoPro style cameras or the, or the Cube style cameras or even some of the point and shoot cameras is they often will have an app. Now they'll be Wi-Fi enabled and they'll have an app that you can use on a phone. So that way you can actually set up your shot, uh, you know, set up your shot while you're playing your guitar. You can set it up, adjust the camera and actually see it, you know, see your shot on the phone and control that from your phone. So you probably won't want to be using the audio from whatever camera you attach to the headstock just because it's going to pick up a lot of vibrations and also just the clean string noise. So be sure you're recording uh, with some other kind of system. Also, don't forget about proper lighting. Lighting can make a huge difference to uh, how your shots look and what you're able to do with them in post. So that's basically all you need to get that shot, a very popular shot. You see it all the time in, you know, here on YouTube, of course, in music videos all over the place. But that is the basics of what you need. And this, you know, I'm guessing you probably have some kind of camera already that will work. So this is the main thing you're going to need, just a simple clamp. Of course, you're going to want at least 1920 by 1080. You want full HD. It's even better if it will do 4K, but at least make sure it does 1920 by 1080. You don't want something that's 720p only. You do not want that. Even if it has a high, higher frame rate, if it's 720p only, no. All right, so what you're really looking for is something that does 1920 by 1080 and at least 60 frames per second. Yes, most videos on YouTube will probably be 30 frames per second, but whenever you're recording your guitar and you're recording that vibration of the strings, having at least 60 frames per second can give you a much cleaner vibration. You'll have less motion blur. And even, even going up from there, if you can find something that does 120 frames per second at 1080, uh, that's even better. If you can find something that does 4K at at least 30 frames per second, that's pretty good. But if you can get a 4K at 60 frames per second, that's even, even better. So it, it'll give you more options whenever you're choosing uh, resolutions uh, that, that you want to shoot at. Having the option to have a higher frame rate is always great, especially if you want to do uh, some slow motion shots of those strings really ringing out and vibrating. You can get a nice clean shot at 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second. And then whenever you slow that down in your uh, NLE, whether that's Media Composer or, or Premiere or whatever, uh, you can have some nice, clean, slow motion, and it, it will look crisp and uh, and clear. All right. So just some tips on how to get the down the neck shot on your guitar, on your bass, any other sort of instrument. And these clamps are also handy for getting all kinds of different shots. Of course, you can clip them on anything that uh, anything that's that's possible to clip them on and get some get some cool shots. All right. But for that shot of down the neck, this is going to be the main thing you need. And then from there, just consider what kind of camera you will want to use. Again, the link in the description for a few ideas of, uh, of uh, clamps that you might want to consider.